welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about adaptive equalization so what is adaptive equalization generally equalization is a pro signal processing operation that minimizes intersymbol interference that is equalization is a technique to overcome the effects of intersymbol interference we already know what is intersymbol interference? So in this picture, we can see that there are different pulses which are being transmitted from the transmitter. These pulses, by the time they reach the receiver, get distorted and they also overlap. So for example, if we consider the pulse that is transmitted here, we transmit a 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So when this uh, these set of pulses are transmitted, some of the pulses undergo reflection, refraction, diffraction, etc. As a result, they get delayed. By the time they reach the receiver, some of these pulses are delayed. For example, in the figure, we can see that the pulse corresponding to this particular data, that is 1, we can find that it does not reach on time, rather it gets delayed. Since it gets delayed, it overlaps with the second symbol, which is the symbol. Hence, this process is nothing but intersymbol interference. So, equalization is a process or is a phenomenon which tries to reduce the effects due to intersymbol interference. Ultimately, it tries to improve the quality of the link between the transmitter and the receiver. So, why is this equalizer called as an adaptive equalizer? The equalizer is called as adaptive because the channel is not constant. It keeps changing. It is random. And hence, the equalizers need to tra keep tracking the channel at all the time. Hence, it is called as an adaptive equalizer. So how are we going to do this? Uh, implement this process of equalization. Basically, there are two modes of operation. One is training, the other one is tracking. So before getting into this, let us see what happens in an equalizer. So as I already told you, when we transmit a signal, different signal components reach the receiver at different instants of time. The signal component which comes directly from the transmitter to the receiver that is the signal component which is in line of sight reaches the receiver on time whereas the other components some of them get reflected some of them get refracted and some of them get diffracted and scattered hence different components reach the receiver at different instants of time in order to collect these different components what we have certain delays so we can see that in case of this, the, the picture that shows is nothing but the uh, picture, uh, diagram of the adaptive equalizer. We can find that different components are received at different instant of time. And hence, we have different delays in order to collect these signal components. And these signal components undergo several phenomenon like reflection, refraction, scattering, etc. As a result, there is a change in their amplitude, phase, etc. Hence, we, we need to improvise the signal link. In order to do that, what we do is we use an algorithm. So this algorithm tries to tries to update weights. That is, every component that reaches the receiver will be multiplied by a particular weight. If the sing signal component is intact, that is, it, it does not undergo much of amplitude or phase distortion, then it has the, the information intact, hence more weightage is given to such a signal, whereas the signal which has, which has gone, uh, which has got delayed, which has got uh, uh, high uh, amplitude and phase distortion, has lesser signal content, hence uh, lesser weightage is given to such signals, signal components. So, in, in this case, that is in case of our adaptive equalizer, the adaptive algorithm tries to calculate the weight for each signal component and each signal component is multiplied by the weight and all these components are finally summed up to get the final output of an equalizer. But we do not stop right there. What we try to do is we try to compare this output 
with the original transmitted sequence. So when we come try to compare, that is when we try to subtract the, the orig output of the equalizer with the original, se uh, original sequence, we get the error. So if the error is high, the adaptive algorithm tries to change all the weights until the error is, min is at the minimum level. So hence we call this algorithm as a adaptive algorithm since it keeps on changing until the error is minimized. So basically in case of an adaptive equalizer, there are two modes of operation. One is the training, the other one is the tracking. In case of training mode, what we usually do is before sending the actual data, before sending the actual signal, we send a training sequence. We send a training sequence so that the adaptive algorithm which we have over here tries to get, get the first set of weights. So once the weights are uh, in, uh, in initiated, what we do is we try to send the actual data. And then this is the first, uh, first step. That is, first is the training mode wherein the training sequence are sent. And based upon the training sequence, the adaptive equalizer has an algorithm which tries to evaluate the weights. Once that is done, the equalizer keeps tracking that is it keeps tracking it keeps uh, uh, tra it tracks the error depending upon the error it keeps changing the weights that is the it, it continuously changes the filter characteristics over the time as a, until it keeps changing the weights until the equalizer is properly trained properly trained in the sense that the error is minimum and at that particular point the equalizer is said to be converged. So this is how the adaptive equalizer works.